Well, I feel freaking stupid. You want to know what the puzzle, the answer to this puzzle is? That's the answer to the puzzle. Hey guys, I'm P-Freak. Welcome back to Pokemon Shield, the Crown Tundra. I forgot what we were playing for a second there. Last time, we ran into the Pokemon known as Calyrex, also known as the King of Bountiful Harvest, and he told us of the, how his power is draining because no one else believes in him really anymore. Because everyone just thinks he's a fairy tale. And we also went around to further learn about this, but we could not find the mayor. The mayor is somewhere here within this wild area. In addition to that, we also ran into two temples. One that held Regirock and this one right over here, and I could not figure out the puzzle for this one for the life of me. We also, in general, just started uh, looking around for the legendary Pokemon. In this part, we're going to start off by actually going into here because I completely forgot, or I could not figure out for the life of me how to get in there. Now, in my defense, I did try the bicycle version of it where it was supposed to ring the bell, so it's kind of obnoxious that you have to specifically be standing and not on your bike in order to activate it. Anyways, enough complaining. <coughs> Wow, sorry, my throat just got super scratchy all of a sudden. Uh, let's see. I guess against this guy. We're gonna have Ray. Maybe she'll be able to figure things out. Alright, guess we just did the same thing we did last time. Come on. Walk over all the lights. Something changed in the air. Talk to the statue. And we ran to Registeel, another one of the legendary golems from the Hoenn region. This one is more of a mix of both physical and special defense, if I remember correctly. Let's do some Thunderbolts, hope for a paralysis, and then try to capture it, shall we? Let's see, any luck? Nope. Wait, I just realized it's a bad matchup because fairy types are weak to steal. Eh, that would actually didn't do too bad. Ray has decent special defense and Registeel doesn't have the best special attack, if I remember correctly. Okay, well, Charge Beam is going to increase the special attack, so... Well, it didn't, still didn't bring us down to half, but now the Flash Cannon might actually be scary. Come on, we're hoping for a Paralysis on this one. Nope, no Paralysis. Goddamn. Iron Defense, that's not going to help much, but... Okay, let's just try to capture this thing, then. It is still a legendary Pokemon, so even though I caught Regirock and only two Pokeballs, it's still going to take a while for me to... They still have a really low catch rate, especially since it does, it's not paralyzed or in red health. I just think that another Thunderbolt's going to kill the thing, so... We can only hope. And hopefully we capture it before it KOs everyone. Well, I know where all my luck went. It went to capturing Regirock. Because so far, I am five Pokeballs in trying to cast this thing. Wow, it actually knocked everyone out before I could even capture it. Jesus Christ. Okay, then. Well. Let's give your fallen Pokemon a rest back at the base. Okay, well, that's obnoxious. Uh, I guess all our luck went into capturing Regirock instead of fucking Registeel. That's a great omen for things that are about to come, isn't it? Uh, Alright. What I think I'm gonna do is have Ted lead out and try to see if I can get a freeze instead. Uh, I'll see you guys back over at the ruins, or the temple, or whatever the hell it's called. Alright, round two. Let's hope that this goes a bit better, shall we? Alright. Ice Fink's not very effective, but the goal here is to actually try to get a freeze. Or something like that. Alright, well, so much for that. Let's try to weaken it a bit with some liquidation before we get absolutely hand blasted by the charge beam. Alright, 
Flash hand's not gonna be very effective. And then I can just start. Oh, uh, special defense spell. Awesome. And then I can start firing more ice fangs and hope for a freeze. Uh, never mind. I think that's the end of the I don't know. No. Though I do think I'm gonna actually just fire instead one last liquid liquidation. That should, if it doesn't crit, get it down. Okay, we're in red health now. And with iron defenses, I should be able to... Mm, nah. Let's just start throwing Pokeballs again. And the cycle continues. Finally! That took way longer than it should have. I am currently at 15 minutes and we just started the video. Are you kidding me? Alright. It's rumored that this Pokemon was born deep underground in the planet's mantle and that it emerged onto the surface 10,000 years ago. No, it does not deserve a name. Honestly, screw this thing. It was so easy to capture Regirock. How did I have such a hard time capturing Registeel? First, your puzzle was super difficult. Now I have an issue with this. <sighs> Near where the green meets the snow in the giant bed lies a temple where the giants of steel sleeps. On the temple's door, strange words. Let ring out the piercing note that will wake the giant of steel. When I whistled before the door, it opened, and I found Registeel. Yay! Oi, oi, Peony here. Ha haven't hurt yourself or anything, have you? Shut up. Come again? You've gone and met the giant Registeel? Haha, <laughs> smash your work, chief. Now, take that energy and go catch the others. Keep up the good work. Well, it does seem like we're mostly done with the Reggies, though it seems like there are new Reggies, judging by the fact that there's a new a, a fourth clue. All right, let me heal up my team real quickly, then we can continue exploring. All right, we'll keep Ted out with us today. All right, let's get our bicycle, zoom out. So we're still looking for the mayor, but we're also looking for some of the other temples to explore. And an Obstagoon. Interesting. So let's see what we can find around here. Eventually, we're going to need to go over to that tree. Anything interesting here? An ether. All right. Just a bunch of dens, mostly. I haven't even seen what Pokemon are available here. I mean, I checked through the list real briefly on Cerebi about what new Pokemon are added. And some of them were interesting. A lot of legendaries were added. Like, a lot of the legendaries from other regions were added. I guess they're mostly added for the Max Lair. That's my guess. Let's see. Altaria apparently is actually a new one, and I did not mean to run into the Altaria. But I guess we're fighting a wild Altaria. And, uh, well, nah. Let's just run from the fight. Didn't mean to run into it anyways. Unfortunately, repels don't work the same way that they used to. Hmm. Looks to be a valley right over here, but let's see if we can find anything around here. We have more snow up here. At least the snow side slope. I think we can continue going through here, maybe. Let's look at some of those clues real quickly. They might give us a hint as to where the other temples are. Uh, let's see. Sunken in the side of snow slide slopes lies a temple where the giant of ice sleeps. So yeah, we're at snow side slope right now, so maybe we'll find that temple real quick and finish the Reggie quest before we finish up the Calyrex quest. Oh, that's water. Okay. Let's see. Wait, what was that? That's a frost ice. Okay. Nothing new. Uh... 
Oh, the Veritex is coming after me, isn't it? God, this, you can barely see around here. Don't you just love snow and hail and all that? Come on. Let's see. Got an item here. Gonna be another new one? Not just full restore. That is hard to navigate your way through here. I think we've only been going in a straight line so far, so. There's something over here? Looks to just be another den. Oh, an item down here, though. Eject pack. An item to be held by Pokemon. When the holder's stats are lowered, it will be switched out of battle. I don't know if that's new or not. That's a Metagross. That's cool. But I can see that being effective. I know the eject button is a thing. I just don't know if the eject pack is brand new or not. God, how much further is this? Ah, uh, tunnel on top. I see. Of course, we had to come in when it was like actually hailing right here. We are on the snow side slopes, right? Right. I guess I'll double check the map real quick. Yeah, we're on so snow side slope, so somewhere around here is. Huh. Well, let's see real quick. So that shows where that temple is. And then that shows where that temple is. Let's see, maybe. I'll take a look around a bit more. Hmm. Don't think we traveled through this area yet, so let's see what's around here. Got a lot of different strong Pokemon for us to fight. A few dens. Why did I... That's how I ran to a Bob Pokemon. It was a friggin' Snom. And you can't really see Snoms because of how small they are, so... Okay, then. Let's see anything else over here at all? See, we can actually go under here. Ah, here we go. Found it. All right. Something is written on the door. Walk together with a living crystal of snow. Cryogonal. We kind of need you, buddy. I think. To me, that thinks that makes me think cryogonal. We don't have a cryogonal on here, do we? Uh. I don't know. I'll try the Mr. Mime or something. I might be correct in thinking that's cryogonal, but. A living crystal snow. Yeah, no, it's cryogonal. Okay. Was there a cryogonal around here that we could capture? I think there was. Let me just put Mr. Mime back. All right, give me just a second. I'm gonna go grab Cryogonal. I am so sick and tired of trying to capture Pokemon already. And it's only been two Pokemon today. Well, hey, I was correct. We did have to walk with a Cryogonal. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. Uh, I need to go heal Pokemon. Okay, now that we have everyone all healed up and we finally unlocked this area, let's actually go on to the next challenge. Hopefully this one will not be as much of a pain as Registeel or Cryogonal was. Seriously, I had such a difficult time tr trying to catch Cryogonal. I don't know why. <laughs> and this is Regice or Regice. It, it's been said both ways in the anime. Basically, Regice is super specially defensive ice type, which is... Kind of bad because ice isn't the most offensive type. It's kind of a crappy type to run off. But it was really powerful when it like first debuted. It has a Oh wow. That was close. <laughs> it has a really powerful um It has a really high I think it's like 230 special base special defense stat. Um okay, that was insanely lucky. Can we capture it? No, we can't. Okay, well, our luck's ran out, apparently. Awesome.
Okay, so I guess our luck hasn't run out quite yet. But hey, we got the third golem. Nice. Alright, let's see here. This Pokemon's body is made of solid ice. It's said that Regice was born beneath the thick ice in the Ice Age. That's a lot of ice. We are sending you back to the box. Sunken inside the snow slide slope lies a temple where the giant of ice sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Walk together with the living crystal of snow. When I took a cryogonal from its Pokeball and had it walk with me, the door opened and I found Regice. Oi oi, Peony here, enjoying your adventures? Come again, you've gone and met the ice giant Regice? Haha, <laughs> smash and work, chief. Now crack on with those other giants and keep up the good work. Yeah, we'll do our best. So, there is a fourth clue into this, and it says that there's another temple. Oh, real quickly, I saw a Pokeball over here. Oh, it's just a TR. Oh, well, might as well see what it is. Ice Beam, how fitting. How freaking fitting. Okay. Let's see here. What is the fourth clue? Nope. Wrong thing. Nope, get me out of here. What does the fourth part of this legendary clue say? On the distant pass of Three Point Pass lies a temple where two giants sleep. So Three Point Pass is where we want to go next. We finish this up. Let's see. That is tunnel to the top. Back to the peak. Crown shine. So three points over here. Roaring Sea Caves. No, it looks to be down here, actually. Maybe? Where is Three Points Paths? Giant's foot. Cross Point Field. No. Uh, where is it? Okay, looks like I can't really find it. However, judging by the entrances to the other ruins, how they look like, this spot right here looks interesting. So I'm going to try to get into these Roaring Sea Caves and see if we can find... Er, see if we can find the Reggies there. I'll see you guys over there. Alright, so it looks like if we keep going that way, we're just going to go back to the snow stuff. So let's try going down through here again. This is where the cemetery was, if I remember correctly. We may have to go actually down to the floor below us. Yeah, down there, maybe. Because I think also going this way led us over to the Regirock ruins. So, let's see. Or I might be entirely wrong, and this was the path that we had initially gone in order to get up to the slope. Oh, yep, I'm wrong. Uh, let's see. Can we continue on through? Oh. We have to actually go down. Okay. I'll see you guys back down there. Alright, looks like we actually want to go down through here. Maybe. Let's see, I think we already went that direction. That's how we got to Reggie Rocks. So let's try going through over here. I mean, there's this tree over here as well that we could probably try to get through. But it looks like we've managed to find a river. That just ends abruptly. Okay, let's just continue on through here. See what we can find. Oh! Wait, no, that's the Regirock Ruins. Okay. So never mind, we've already been this way. Let's take the river then. I should probably zoom out. Okay. Come on. Ah, uh, no. I do not want to fight a magic carp right now. Something. Oh, an item. Anything good? A life orb. Okay, that's not bad. The competitive Pokemon item. Rare candy. And a miracle seed. Fun. Alright. Anything else down here? It looks like it, the place just ends with the uh, cave that's over here. We've made it to the Balmere Lake. Let's see. We have Corviknight there. Tyrant, another coordinate. Ooh, hold on. I think this is a cave. Ah, no, Bolton. Get away from me. Aaron. Hey, it's an Aaron. A.A. Ron. Okay, so... From what... 
Let's see. I did not mean to run into Leon. And we should probably switch out from Ted, to be honest, but it's whatever. Let's just run from here. Don't get me wrong, I love the Aaron family. It's a really nice family. It's just, I don't need these guys right now. Hey, it's an Aaron. And a that thing. Uh, the Agron family is actually new to this DLC, so... If you haven't caught one before and you didn't transfer it to your Pokemon home... Hey, Ferrisseed and Ferrifold. That's a good Pokemon, too. Uh, was this the way that we came in? Yes, it was. Okay, so... Is there any... I guess we didn't take this pathway. This looks to lead to somewhere. Or was this the way we came in? I am so turned around. Um, no, I think we came in through this way. And I think we need to be going down through this way. Yeah. I would have remembered if we ran through all the Ferrothorns and Ferrothorns. We're just back at Balmere Lake, just at a lower level. Okay. Noxious. Uh, Shuckle. Screw you, Shuckle. I really hate Shuckles because I tried to do a max raid with Shuckle and it was a pain to do. We haven't even found the mare at all. I don't need you, Gossip Flirt. Please. seem like anything really interesting over here, to be honest. Oh, words carved into this ancient tombstone. Spread my voice. Hmm. Spread my voice. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Alright, I have no idea. Uh, jeez, I am so lost with this DLC so far. We were supposed to find the mayor around here, but I have no idea where the mayor is. And then I'm trying to look for... All this other stuff, and we are kind of really out of the way. So I think actually, maybe I should just head back to the snow slide slope, follow the area around here, and maybe we'll somehow get to the Roaring Sea Caves and the Frigid Sea that way. Oh, whoops, that leads back to the Isle of Armor. Whoops. So, let's just go back to the snow slide slopes. All right, so we're back over here at this little tunnel, tunnel to the top. Let's see if this takes us anywhere near the sea. Hey, Gibble. That's right, Garchomp is in this game now. That's awesome. Let's see, Dragon Fang. And now to be held by a Pokemon, this hard, sharp Fang boosts power of Dragon-type moves. Not bad, not bad if you have a Dragon-type on you. Gibble eventually evolves into Gar uh, Gabite, which evolves into Garchomp. Garchomp is one of my favorite Pokemon, and probably my favorite Dragon-type Pokemon. It was Generation 4's pseudo-legendary Pokemon. The legendary basically means super powerful Pokemon with a set of uh, six, stat total of 600, at least. Or maybe exactly, I'm not sure. At least it's kind of a maze in its of itself, isn't it? See this way. I'm going further down because I'm hoping that eventually we will get to the sea level where we can find access to the sea. Let's see. Oh, maybe right out here. Mm, nope. Oh, something's over here though. I'm so hey, Garchomp. So confused as to where I am. Magmarizer, a box packed with a tremendous amount of magma energy, is loved by a certain Pokemon. That is for you to evolve Magmar into Magmortar. Alright, let's see. Is this where we. No, it's not where we started, but. It doesn't really lead to anywhere. Get Ally Switch. That's pretty interesting, I guess. God, why can't this be a bit more straightforward? I mean, even the Owl of Armor was a bit more clear as to where exactly we're supposed to go. Let's see, we haven't gone up here. Oh. There 
handy. Star piece. Okay. I'm also getting a little frustrating with how lost I am. I just want to get to the Bountiful Sea or whatever the hell it's called. I'm trying to go down everywhere, but I guess going down is not really working out. We already went through there, right? Yeah, we did. Uh, I thought this would be a lot more fun, but nope. We have to really figure out our way around here. There aren't many, very many guides to like tell you whether you like whether you head in the right direction or not either. So looks like we can go down through here though. Or was this the way that we came from? I don't remember. I am so lost right now. Yeah, no, we've been here. This is where we started, I think, so. Hmm. Okay, let's go back up through here. Alright, this is a new area. Fire Blast, okay. Not really useful since my fire type's a physical attacker. And here, nothing. A pair of safety goggles, okay. Nothing really important. Max Revive? I'll happily take a Max Revive. Sorry, I got a message I wanted to check real quick. Uh, Path to the Peak. I guess we're just headed to the top of the mountain by complete accident, but whatever. A bunch of frost miles around here. What's this Pokemon? A uh, Durant. <laughs> okay. Weird flex, but okay. Alright, let's see. I guess we're just headed to the top of the mountain. Did not really mean to come all the way up here, but I guess we're here. The Crown Shrine. Maybe this actually has something to do with the... Or no, maybe it has something to do with the third clue. Or the third, yeah, the third legend or whatever. That's not creepy at all. He felt that something was watching you until just a moment ago. Interesting. I don't even know if there's anything really for us to do up here quite yet. If there ever will be. I mean, I would figure that there would be. Looks to be an important area. I can't move the camera anymore, so... I don't think we're supposed to be here quite yet. I have a feeling with a name like the Crown Shrine, it's supposed to be somewhat related to Calyrex and their uh, quest. So I guess we'll just be thankful that we actually have a flying point here. Okay, well, I have no idea how to get to the Roaring Sea. I'm gonna try to see if there's a Tutorial on how to get there because this game's been out for a day now, but there have already been tons of tutorials, so give me a second. Okay, so. Oh, God, freaking really? Really? I do not need you. Anyway, we are here in the giant's foot now. This is apparently supposed to be the way to get to Three Point. I also was completely dumb and I completely missed where Three Point actually was on the map. Turns out, it's actually right here. And I completely, oh whoops, I completely missed it the entire time. Yay me. All right, so hopefully somewhere around here, we should be able to find the caves that lead us over to the sea. So, let's see. 
Maybe follow the river? Maybe the river cave's the only one. Maybe. Yeah, let's just go on the river and see. Nope, no, I do not want to fight any Pokemon right now. Please. Alright, Roaring Sea Caves, here we go. And we just gotta get through here. Hmm. Looks like there's a path right there for us, and another path right here. Let's see, this one has an item. I can grab it. A rare candy. Yay. Now, to be fair, we might want to give some rare candies to Ted, because Ted's falling really far behind in levels. Oh god, this looks awfully familiar. Kinda. Another freaking maze. Uh, why do caves always have to be such maze, so maze-like? Hey, Riolu, another one of my favorite Pokemon. Or at least it's evolution's moment. Series. As you can tell, I love a lot of Sinnoh Pokemon, so... Hey, we finally made it to the Frigid Sea. So, three points should be somewhere over here. That's interesting to see. I didn't know Avalugs could actually go into the water. Huh. I mean, I guess it makes sense. They are experts, after all. They're also incredibly useless. Here we go, we made it to the three-point pass, and there it is. There's the final temple. Hmm. There's something written on the door. A giant of rock. A giant of ice. A giant of steel. When gather the three giants, the door of destiny shall be opened. Well, geez, that sounds like a familiar puzzle like we've done before. But, there's a certain reason why I caught all those Pokemon, and not just, and not, um, just made them all faint. In order to get inside, we actually need to have all three of these guys here with us. Alright, with them all here. There we go. Into the final chamber, or ruins, I believe is what they're called. All right, the split decision ruins. Now, here you're gonna have to make a choice. There are two brand new Pokemon that we get here. And yes, I did do a bit of cheating and actually looked it up, but I need to know what exactly I was getting myself into. You have a choice between two brand new Pokemon here. You can only choose one per game. So if you're like me, who has both Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, you basically just get one for one game and the one for the other one. What you're basically going to do is be stepping on all these, on, not all of the lights actually, you're going to be stepping on the ones depending on which one you want. If you notice those symbols on the outside, they were kind of, oops. they were hints as to what exactly, what symbols you need to be making. So, you can either do one that's X-like, or you can do one that's Y-like. How fitting. Let's see, which one do I want? Hmm. You know what, it matches the color scheme of this game a bit more, so. I believe this is the pattern. No, did I do it wrong? Hmm. Looks like it did it wrong. Can I actually step over it to clear it? Okay, I can step over it to clear it. Wow, I did not pay attention to the thing at all. Hmm. All right. Okay, this is embarrassing. Let me take a look at those symbols again. So, let's see. Am I able to get... Okay. Okay, then. I guess you can kind of tell which one I'm actually aiming for now. Let's try this again. Whoops. Come on. That should be the right one, right? No? Okay. Hmm. What if maybe instead it's like this? Instead? No? Come on. 
Okay, I see how you're supposed to do it now. That's kind of weird. Basically, you're not supposed to have this one lit, lit up. There we go. Something changed in the air. It looks like something is glowing on the, only half of it. Oh. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do for this? Uh, let's send out Ray. A draconic power is emanating from the Pokemon statue. Do you want to check it out? It looks like once you check this, you won't be able to reset the switches on the floor. Are you sure you want to see the switches in the dragon pattern? Yes, we are. And say hello to a brand new Pokemon, Reggie Drago. Now this admittedly was kind of spoiled to me before this even came out, but yes, there are two new Reggie Golems. We have Reggie Drago and Reggie Lecky, which I'll put a picture of it on screen right now. It's interesting, but that means that begs the question, where the hell is Reggie Gigas? Hmm. Anyways, let's try to fire off some Thunderbolts, see if we can actually paralyze this thing. And when we're done with this, that should be one of the legendary quests that we have to take care of. Also, yes, I chose Ray, thinking that dragon types aren't going to affect me very much, so... I don't know, I think these guys are supposed to be more of the offensive of the golems. I haven't really checked their stats, but that would make sense. Like, if Regilecki become a special attacker, while Regidrago become a physical attacker. I think their designs are actually pretty neat. I do remember seeing a video where someone actually took the effort to... Oh, that shouldn't be too effective. Yeah, someone took the effort to actually make a Reggie of every type. So, seeing new Reggie types, I'm actually very much for. I like this sort of thing. Kind of like seeing a evolution of every type. Now let's hope this is a lot easier to catch than freaking Registeel. Dragon Energy. So that's a new move. I think that's a signature move for Reggie Drago. I have no idea what it does, but we can definitely check it out after we capture this thing. If we capture this thing. Laser focus, so I know that guarantees a critical hit. But the only move that I can attack us with, it looks like, is hammer, so... Alright, it's probably gonna take a while. There we go. That wasn't as bad as Registeel, so pretty sweet. All right. Its body is composed of crystallized dragon energy. Regidrago is said to have the powers of every dragon Pokemon. Interesting. The dragon orb Pokemon. <laughs> All right. Let's see what that move does. Dragon's Maw powers up dragon type moves. Okay. That'd be f that's interesting. Uh, looks to actually have a split even special attack as a uh, physical attack. Not bad. But yeah, it's mostly a glass cannon, it looks like. Converting its life force into power, the user attacks the opposing Pokemon. The lower the user's HP, the, m the, mo the lower the move's power. So it's basically like a water spout, if I remember correctly. Or water spout, I think that's the move. Yeah, basically, lower the HP, less damage. It's something you want to do kind of at the beginning of the fight, but otherwise it's super powerful. But that's cool. That's the first new Pokemon we've seen besides Calyrex. Let the first Pokemon hold a never ch Oh, whoops, that's the wrong one. When you gather the three giants, the door of destiny shall be open. With the giants of stone, ice, and steel, gather the door open, and I chose a giant. Better report back to Chief Peony. I guess we gotta... But I'm glad we at least finished one of the legendary quests, even if it wasn't the first one. Let's report back to the Chief real quick. Alright, buddy. Oi, oi, Chief. How goes the adventure? Anything to report? Uh, the Legendary Giants. Wait, you really caught Reggie Drago from the Legends? That's ultra mega brilliant. Report. Report away. Hmm. You're saying this great jagged thing's Reggie Drago, the Dragon Giant? Is it just me, or does it look like it pack a really strong pinch? 
It's a bit like a massive clothespin, isn't it? I better not go provoking it. Doubt it'd have a bit of trouble opening wide and stepping me up. I suppose I'd say that's a dragon knee giant. May as well call this expedition a success. Got anything else legendary you want to talk about? I guess we could tell you about the other Reggies. Wait, you really caught Reggie Rock from the Legends? That's ultra mega brilliant. Report away. Hmm, you're saying this great craggy thing's Reggie Rock, the rock giant? Is it just me or does it bear a striking resemblance to a grass type gym leader? <laughs> Look at those broad, burly shoulders. This fellow and Milo are a proper bear of boulders. Well, it's rocking and giant enough, I suppose. Let's call this expedition a success. Well, Alright. I guess we're supposed to report to each one of these, but. Reggie Ice, yeah, yeah. You're saying this great frozen stiff thing's Reg Ice, the Ice Giant? Is it just me, or does it look like it'd make one of those ultra mega dazzling chandeliers? Wish I could light it up and show it to my darling Nia. That aside, look at how massive and mighty this thing is. Give me the chills just looking at it. I don't mind saying. Alright. And finally, what do you have to say about Registeel? Wait, you really caught it? Yeah, yeah. You're saying this great smooth thing's Reg Steel, the Steel Giant? It's just me, or does it look like half of it? Does it look. Or does its top half look a bit like a massive bowling ball? Look at the blank, inscrutable mug, though. You can't guess what's going on in its head. Well, it's stealing giant enough, I suppose. This call's expedition well done. Looks like Vivix reported all there is to report on Legendary Clue 2 and the Legendary Giants. Smashing! I'll mark the expedition done. Nice. Yay. Got anything else legendary you want to talk about? Not right now. Looks like we're gonna have to look for the other stuff later. But that's it for now. I'd say we did, we were rather productive this episode, despite a lot of just catching different Pokemon. So, we caught all the rest of the legendary um, golems that we had to catch, and we found a new one in Reggie Draco, and also explored the other one, Reggie Lecky, briefly. That'll be it for now. If you like what I do, subscribe to my channel, consider supporting me on Patreon, and follow me on all social media links. All that will be in the description. Next time, we're hopefully going to try to figure out the rest of the legends. I'll see you all then.